If you're anything like me, chances are you just purchased your very first espresso machine, you've plugged it in, turned it on, you've got an amazing bag of coffee beans, and you go to pull your very first shot of espresso or make your very first latte, and it's a complete disaster. That's what happened to me the very first time I tried to use my Breville Barista Express. While this machine is very well built, brews some great espresso, and is fairly easy to use, the very first time you start using it or are trying to dial in a new bean can be very, very difficult and frustrating. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to dial in the Breville Barista Express. Maybe this is your first time you just purchased it, or you've got some new coffee beans and you need to dial them in specifically for that bean. Today, we're going to take a look at just how to do that and hopefully take some frustration out of the first few shots you pull. Maybe you've pulled your first couple of shots, your first couple of lattes, and realize that, eh, they weren't the greatest. Do not fear, my friend. This is probably the most frequently asked question I get on Instagram and TikTok and here on YouTube. How do I dial in my Breville Barista Express to get the most optimized results? Now, a lot of times when people are asking me for help with the Breville Barista Express, they want to know my specific settings that I use to get great espresso. And while there's nothing wrong with that, you need to keep in mind that there's no one-size-fits-all solution with the Breville Barista Express or really any espresso machine. There are a ton of variables that go into pulling great shots. It's going to depend on what roast you're using, what bean, where you live, the atmosphere, and even your Breville Barista Express. Every machine is going to act and function a little bit differently. Everything that you will need to do the dialing in process, obviously the Breville Barista Express or some type of espresso machine, but today's tutorial specifically will be focused on this. A good quality specialty coffee. You don't have to use an espresso bean per se, but I do recommend it because the roaster has roasted that to specifically perform the best when brewed as espresso. You're also going to need some good quality water, a tamper, a scale, and a dosing funnel. Now be prepared to go through a lot of coffee when you're first dialing in. You may even go through an entire bag. Hopefully not with this tutorial today. We're going to try to fast track that, but be prepared to use a lot of coffee when dialing in. Now when you're dialing in your Breville Barista Express, there's four key variables that you need to keep in mind. Dose, yield, grind setting, and brew ratio. All four of those things will play a determining factor in how good your espresso is going to taste. Now right off the bat, as soon as you open the box, you're going to notice that this machine comes with a multitude of different baskets, at least four of them. And you're probably confused at which one you should be using. I highly recommend using the non-pressurized double basket. That's the one that I've had the most success with and I find that the Breville runs the smoothest with. The single baskets and stuff like that have given me a bunch of trouble, so go with the non-pressurized double basket. When dialing in the machine, either for the first time or with a new bean, it is crucial that you keep each and every variable the exact same every time so you're getting consistent results and you know what to change, you have a measurable outcome here. So you're going to use the same dose, aim for the same yield, and weigh out your beans every single time. For this specific video, and what I highly recommend, is going for a 2 to 1 ratio. So you're going to get double the amount of coffee you originally put in, in about 25 seconds. Typically, you want your shots to go anywhere from 25 to 30 seconds, but for the dialing in process here, we're going to go with 25 seconds, and we're going to start the timer as soon as espresso is hitting the glass. Not the pre-infusion, just after that. So in this video, I'm going to be pulling 19 gram shots. That's what I have found works the best with the Breville. You can use 17, you can use 18. Like I said, I'm going to be using 19 here, and I'm going to be looking for about 38 to 39 grams out in 25 seconds. Once I can achieve that, or really, really close to that, I know that I'm going to be pulling some great espresso. When it comes to picking the right grind size to start beginning dialing in, you have a few different options. You can start smack in the middle, which on the Breville Barista Express would be about an 8. You can try to restore it to factory settings, or if you're just bringing it out of the box, leave it at whatever setting Breville has left it at. You can go as coarse as possible and work your way in from there, or go as fine as possible and work your way in from there. For today's video, we're going to be starting with an 8, and I do recommend going in increments of about 2 grind settings, unless you are very, very close to where you specifically need to be to be dialed in. So to get started, the first thing you have to do is weigh out the dose that you'll be using. You're going to want to stick with this dose throughout the entire dialing in process. It's very important that you invest in a scale so that you know you're getting accurate and consistent results. You're also using the double shot basket and you'll want to use either 18 or 19 grams. I'm going to be using 19 and I like to add just a little bit extra because often grinds fall out during puck prep. I recommend using a dosing funnel or a cup to help keep your grinds neat and as close to your goal weight as possible. 
I highly recommend only putting that singular dose into the hopper and opening the grind setting all the way so you get that full dose out and stay consistent. To measure, you zero out your scale and then place the portafilter with the grounds back on it. Again, I recommend setting your grinder to an 8, which is in the middle, or leaving it at the factory settings that Breville has set it at if it is brand new. Your puck prep is one of the most important things you can do. If you don't have a WDT tool, I do recommend getting one. It will definitely help take your espresso to the next level. WDT tools really help to break up large clumps. The Breville Barista Express grinder is not the greatest grinder. It does get the job done, um, but it does leave you with a bunch of clumps. And the WDT tool just really helps to break that up um, and reduce channeling. Next, you have a distributor. I think this is extremely helpful as well, just to help get those grounds compact and distributed. One of the reasons I do do 19 grams or 19.2 grams is because I know a little bit is gonna fall out, so I'm not gonna be exactly at 18, and all of that will alter the way you're shot. Now tamping, you wanna make sure you're doing a nice consistent tamp. A lot of people will say to tamp with about 30 pounds of pressure, but what does that look like? Don't try to tamp as hard as you can, just get a nice firm tamp in there and make sure you can consistently do it. When you get a palm tamper like this, it's a little bit easier. It automatically stops when it hits that ledge. There's also spring-loaded and calibrated tampers that will automatically apply 30 pounds of pressure for you. So it just really depends what you're looking for, but just have a nice consistent tamp that you can reapply every time. When pulling a shot, you hit the program button first and then the double shot button, which will turn your machine into manual mode and allow you to control the time of the shot. We're looking for a shot to reach its goal weight in 25 seconds, so I recommend grabbing some type of timer, whether it's a scale with a timer or even using your phone. You'll start the timer after the pre-infusion when the first drops of espresso hit the cup. You'll want to stop both your timer and your espresso shot once you've reached your goal weight, no matter how long it takes to get there. Here's the first shot we're pulling. Again, it's set at an eight, and we see that it ran a little bit fast. We reached our 38 grams within 19 seconds. So now what I'm gonna do is fine up my grind before pulling the next shot. We're gonna pull another shot here and kind of analyze the flow of the espresso. As you can see, it's not really coming out properly. It's a little bit drippy. One side is coming out, then both and back and forth. The pressure is all off. And actually, if you look at the pressure gauge, it's way out of the zone, which means you're getting way too much pressure here, which again, boils down to the grind size being an issue. Now, if it's taking you longer than 25 to 30 seconds to reach your goal output, then you're gonna wanna grind coarser. Now, if it's taking you less than 25 seconds to reach your output, then you're gonna to wanna to grind finer. Dialing in your espresso can certainly be a tedious affair. Now, you're gonna repeat this exact process over and over again until you get a shot that pulls to your goal weight within 25 seconds. The key is to keep every variable the same, your dose, your yield, and the time, except for your grind setting. That's what you're focusing on specifically when it comes to dialing in. By adjusting only one thing at a time, you'll be able to analyze and measure what's going on in your espresso shot in a repeatable way. Your goal when dialing in espresso is to find the sweet spot of the extraction so that the shot is neither under nor over extracted. It just tastes perfectly well balanced. I have adjusted my grind size once again, and I think I'm starting to get a lot closer to being dialed in. You can see from the shot that the flow is nice and smooth, it's not drippy, and it's not coming out too, too fast either. Here's the shot being fully timed, and this is pretty spot on. We got to our goal weight of 38 grams in 25 seconds. I'm very happy with the shot. I have my Breville Barista Express set to a two here. Now, like I said earlier, don't just copy my results, find a good spot and learn to dial in for your exact bean, but I am quite happy with how I have this dialed in. That is perfect. It takes a little bit of effort. It can be really frustrating, but once you get your Breville Barista Express dialed in perfectly, the espresso is amazing. 
I do want to mention real quick, if you are having a lot of trouble with the Breville Barista Express, you cannot get it dialed in perfectly. Maybe you're stuck between a couple settings, a 2 is too fast, a 3 is too slow, or vice versa, depending on what's going on. There is an inner burr on the Breville Barista Express that might need to be adjusted. It comes at factory settings, and just like the outer burr, it can be changed and it can be off. So if you are really, really stuck between two numbers and you can't get it dialed in, take a look at the inner burr that is inside the main grinder. And and consider adjusting that, making it a little bit finer. Uh, you will need to go through the dialing in process all over again to find that sweet spot, but that could be the issue. By this point in the video, I hope you have picked up some tips and have started dialing in or are already dialed in, brewing some great espresso. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. My name is Caitlin. I'm a coffee roaster from Toronto, Canada, and my goal is to make specialty coffee fun and approachable to anyone who wants to jump into this world. It's really fun and there is a place for you in it, whether you're a casual brewer, a hobbyist, or a future roaster. Whatever you are, the world of specialty coffee is fun, approachable. Come join us. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Remember to brew better coffee and support a local independent coffee roaster. Happy dialing in. Happy espresso.